we do now? It's a foot! Is ten enough? Ah. Oh. How much is it? Fifteen? Yeah. You have this much. Was it? Snack, did you say you were going to play Star Fox Adventures at some point? I want somebody to play that. Possibly. Okay. I want to watch someone play that. One time, it was so funny. Uh... A couple of my friends in college, like, freshman year, well, it was my freshman year, most of my friends were sophomores, but point is, um, my freshman year of college, uh, there was a weekend where many of my friends were going home for the weekend, uh, and the only people who were still in town were me, one other friend, and one other friend from another school, uh, and none of us lived in, like, the main dorm that like we usually met up at where the bulk of our friends lived uh, I lived in a dorm across the street uh, and neither of them lived in the storm but we got <laughs> we got their room for the weekend <laughs> or for like the night or something um, and we made plans to do stuff we were gonna and the plan was to do a Star Fox Adventures Blind race <laughs> between me and one of my other friends. And we had the two setups ready and we started playing Star Fox Adventures. I'm pretty sure it was a blind race. Maybe it was, I think it was. And we had the two setups and we started playing. And after like, <laughs> like an hour and a half, <laughs> we were like, no, oh, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't that fun. <laughs> and then we just played Mario Party. Look at her go. A wonderful, splendid thing. A cabana deed, an entire house. She gave me a house. An island, even. Dum da dum! <laughs> I own my very own cabana. What was she doing living out there? It's on the lonely island. <laughs> Your own little bachelor pad. What are you two gabbing about? Why are they here? Do they move inside after a certain point of the game? Why are you staring at us like that, huh? Spread rumors. Oh no. The pixel. for two rupees. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Why are you 
ignoring us? Us? You stinker! I don't know any rupees. Have some rupees. Oh, really? You're gonna give us rupees? Yippee! We each get one home rupee. Ah, we're still not gonna tell you anything. Not even a teensy tiny rumor. <laughs> yeah, we would never tell you about the merchants with the huge backpacks who are on Bomb Island, Great Fish Isle, and the mother of child isles. <laughs> I hear they all think Tsunari Shop is the greatest. Isn't that the weirdest? How did they get this info? <laughs> Where are the little tipsters? <laughs> I wonder what that means, anyway. Maybe when we get bigger, we'll probably figure it out, huh? I did not remember them being called the little tipster. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> little Mondo. Um... I don't actually want to go to the cabana right now. Is there anything left in Windfall for us? Is there like a higher level Sploosh Kaboom now? Did he level up? <coughs> That'd be crazy. What if you had to check in every couple of chapters? Naf or Cayman or anybody if you know. Is the little the full moon quest is that required? Where you get the picture of the full moon? Does that get you a treasure chart or something? I don't wanna do that one. <laughs> I guess I would just have to make it nighttime over and over, right? Until it works. It's literally just getting a picture of the full moon, right? I guess that's not so bad. I'm sorry. Getting old. in the way, how am I supposed to see the moon? Would you use the song of passing if you had it in real life? Because I think I would not. <laughs> Why would I wish away my time? Yo, what's up, Shuddy? We could if we were playing hide and seek. I like the killer bees, though. I think they're funny. That's good, right? Killer? Just fast forward through work? I don't know. Time is the most valuable thing you have. Yeah. I guess that's true.
I mean that you do understand how I feel? Completely. Show me a picture of the first perfectly round, pale thing you can think of. Funny answer. <laughs> the full moon. I'm quite in love. Wait, what? Who? The moon itself? I think we're done on Windfall forever. Except for, you know, Zunari's quest, but like... Do I care? That's not, that's not a piece of heart, right? Is it? Actually, I think you have to do part of it, right? I guess we could do it. I, we'll, we'll do this quest, but it's gonna be a whole stream of its own, I think. Like, I'm going to have to dedicate a stream to it. So bring your talking points. Because <laughs> that's going to be a boring one. Nip, making you do my job for me. It's because I'm uninteresting. Go to Great Fish Isle. Oh yeah, I have to be in the boat to use this, don't I? Do you have to be in the boat in a uh, rando? Oh, okay. I'm also going to need to just use a guide for this quest, because, like, I don't really remember how to do it. You gotta bring certain items to, like, certain guys, right? Certain keys. Not the Korok quest. I forgot about that one. That one I really don't want to do. <laughs> There's some tedious stuff in this game. What does this remind me of? This uh, island here? This? Quite a few things, honestly. M many things. Spiral Mountain? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, bud. Hello, something. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Oh. You say the forest trees my fellow Koraks have planted are withering? So it's true. As you can see, the forest tree I've planted is doing the same. Can't help but think that this too is the result of... This too must be the will of causality. Could it be? Regardless, in order to bring the life back into this poor withered sapling, I'd certainly need forest water. Swordsman, could you please go to the forest haven and bring back some of the water? The source of all life that flows around the great dagger tree? Could you sprinkle it on this tree? Please, I beg of you. Yeah. What's that down there? Money?
Uh, do you need double magic for this? Because I'm pretty sure I put this off for that reason. Also, is this even the right way to go about it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I put it off for nothing. did we get? We got one from a... We got... We got that one on the left. Oh wow, it tells me. Okay, this is nice. What's this one? Oh yeah. I remember getting that. save. Yeah! Shoot. Well, we can also do this. Are you ever playing a game and you think to yourself, I haven't saved in a while, and then you just do it? Out of, like, fear. You can't do this? Fake trees? My car lied to me. Is there anything up there? No, right? It's just for fun. I don't think when I first played this that I immediately recognized that these were Gorons. Which is strange, because I definitely knew Gorons. I think this was my first Zelda, but I had definitely, like, played Majora's Mask and maybe Ocarina at a cousin's house, but I just didn't put two and two together. <laughs> but these are Gorons! Throw this away, no. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bops between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked. Cracked and raw. Based and... Woolly. <laughs> I came from a distant future because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island. But I can't find a thing. Thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items, the fabled Shop Guru statue. But it seems as though I'm off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in its depths. You have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all. This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed with... Stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. A town flower? Nafsig. <gasps> for this sea flower? Sea? Flower? Sure. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 20 rupees! What are you talking about? Can't believe this. 
The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far-off land. I think I like this one the most. By trading your goods for my goods, we formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island Shop. How, you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me. So it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall Isle, or Windfall, and see for yourself. Thanks again. Thanks a bunch. Steiner's oath. Now trade it back. Oh, really? To him? This guy's gonna get so owned right now. Oh, that's a sea flower. Is it not? Never seen one of these before. Would you be interested in trading that for this exotic flower? <laughs> yeah, dude. Most worthy. Then my fee will be. Ooh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. It's a deal. Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as I promised. Hold up both hands. <clears throat> cool. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. Now we're done. Unless... What if you went up there and there was a green warp pipe that took you to a, a, a weird level where you have to find the red bird? Shortcut. Let's put that up after this. Question. Do the numbers on the C charts correspond to anything? No, right? Because, like... No, they don't. Hey. Oh, we already have it. Let's go, let's go due east. Let's go due east. Yeah, what's up, sis? Catch me up. Uh, we finished the Makar dungeon. We fought a big worm snake thing that flies. We fought a big octo. And we took a Steiner's Oath. And we showed a picture of the full moon to a grumpy kid on one fall. 
and we met the little tipsters, and they told me about an island, and they went, ah, ma, 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 ma. And that was everything. There's nothing on this one yet. What the heck? Why am I turning? <laughs> my controller is acting on its own. I didn't notice until the I looked at my compass and I was like, why is my compass rotating? <laughs> is the magnetic field here like doing something? <laughs> my control stick was turning for some reason. Are we in the grand line, right? This time, buddy. Probably pull out my boomerang. <laughs> oh, gold feather. Oh, and Framand owns a house now. But we haven't gone yet. It is kind of messed up. Uh, except I did try to give it to her and she said no. This guy's a dick. <laughs> Eat my entire ass, guy. because <clears throat> and now we are just in side quest mode we're, we're at the rest of the game this will be fun with a controller that's Sometimes acting up and sometimes not. Guys, I got a new entry in the Seltzer Saga. <laughs> the ongoing saga where Zebra discovers drinks. Uh, I've, been on a, I've been on a Topo Chico kick lately. Which is nice, a nice, a nice sparkling water for me that I actually like. However, today, uh, my coworker was drinking the soda. He was drinking a soda. And I was like, what's that soda guy? And he was like, uh, first off, it's a prebiotic soda. 
I was like, oh, I didn't know that was like a thing. But, you know, shout outs to good gut health. Can't go wrong. Um, but what caught my eye is that it was cherry limeade. And I was like, that sounds good. And he was like, it's only 25 calories. And I was like, no way. And then I looked at the brand name. And it was Poppy. <laughs> it was Poppy brand soda. It's a brag shill. <laughs> uh, I have never had the booch. I've had many opportunities to, I just have never had it. And the kicker is that it was red, which I thought was really funny. Because we've been doing that bit lately. We cannot return to Hyrule without first reforming a piece of the Triforce. It's now our duty to gather the eight Triforce shards. She's so good at red and only red at the moment. Red is a powerful color on this Vrag channel. It's true. A lot of lore to red, the color. <laughs> red, Zebra's version. <laughs> I would be happy if I never had to do one of these ever again. But we gotta do most of them. I think we've done two of them. About the size of Limgrave? I think I had heard that. Do we think that's true? Like... Because <laughs> I don't. Like, physically? Like, map size? Maybe. But even then, I don't think. Because it looks massive. Uh, but even then, like, density seems... Crazy. Crazier. You know? I was describing earlier, Sis, my, uh, my character's journey from... I started as a curved sword user. That was the first weapon that I, like, locked in on, and I was like, this is cool. This will be fun for me. Uh, and I resisted the temptation of katanas at first. But I was like, well, that's just too easy, you know? <laughs> like, I love a good katana, but if I went katana, that would be boring. There's so many other weapons for me. Uh, and then I got sent to Kaelid, where I fought for my life for four days and four nights, found myself in a tomb beneath all those, like, centipede guys, and found a blade made of a rare meteorite that had gravity powers, and I was like, all right, I'm a katana guy now. <laughs> got the slide off there. Did you see that? We're gonna go right into the boat. No. The tides! Oh, no. Enjoying the view? Shut up, Red. Ha! 
how is there a treasure chart of this? It must be new. This didn't exist before. <laughs> Wait. This isn't it. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's not the Tower of the Gods. <laughs> That's unknown. <laughs> well, the next thing is right. That was that uh, island over here somewhere, right? Right here, I think. Right here? Yeah, Needle Rock. Beetle is here? What business did he think? He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna make a killing at the Tower of the Gods! And he was right. <laughs> oh, my first customer! Wow! 30 rupees? You're nuts! I'm taking my business elsewhere. Oh, 27 points. We gotta buy stuff off him. Thank you! Thank you! I love, it's so funny, wait, hold on, we gotta see that again. Keep an eye on Beetle. Look at him when you leave. <laughs> Remember me and my brother used to do this and we'd be like, Beetle, what's going on, man? Are you good, Beetle? You good, bro? <laughs> Look at him, <laughs> he's so sad. What a good guy. Why not blue potion? I just wanted to spend the money, to be honest. Could be fun to have a red potion. Rarely seen item. Hold the phone. Where am I headed? This one, right? This one, yes? This one, yes? You're all set. One each of the four potion. Oh, that's cute. I saw a post about a Texas high school football coach not allowing 15 minute water breaks during practice because he believes in work, not woke. <laughs> that sucks. Pretty funny though. On paper at least. <laughs> On paper, not practice. I'm writing that one down. That's my cool new phrase for me. On paper, not practice. I mean, a water break is also just like a break. <laughs> Parents, oh boy. Oh, hold on, are we near a? Are we near a Nira? Are we near a big Octo? Is there one over here? Eh, let's do it after the treasure. You gonna talk about the Dr. D stuff or can I have dibs? I could care. I care so little about Dr. D, so you can go nuts. I only know the broad strokes. Ah, 
I thought he already had his like cancellation moment. He bounced back. <laughs> he bounced back, right? Like they all do anyway. Oh, is he on another service? At the moment, is he on cake or something? He's on YouTube. I didn't know that. That makes a little more sense. are the try guys again like <laughs> that was something that happened and i thought everybody was making it up <laughs> that was my those who slither in the dark <laughs> i was like there's no try guys what are, what is that <laughs> there's no try guys i just remember that being talked about and i was like what is this a Mario enemy? They seem like chill dudes. I, I, actually, I still don't know who they are, so I couldn't even like testify to that. Well, I guess we already did this one. No, we didn't. Nice try, Freeman. Nice try. Does the empty chest stay? Yeah, that's that's what the towers are for. If you see it, every tower has a chest. And if there's no enemies or something, it's usually blow up the cannons. Oh, we did the one over there. Is that a chest? Hey, I'm gonna use my trusty, are you ready? Thanks, sis. Yep, we already did that one. That guy has scars. That might be the guy I fought here last time. Raw. <laughs> did I hear you saying raw up there? No. What was it this time? Did you see a seagull or something? No. Oh, but my review is that the poppy soda was pretty good. <laughs> ah, yes. It was actually so funny. He was like, you can have one if you want. And I was like, cool. And I opened the fridge and I saw that there were, <laughs> there were two purple, two orange, one red, and one of the other kind. Because uh, he had taken one of the red ones. And in any other situation, I'd be like, well, I'm going to take one of the ones that there's two of. But I was like, can I have the red one? <laughs> Would that be chill? <laughs> oh, it was just the flavor I wanted the most. But also, I was like, this is funny. <laughs> I 
of the bit for myself. Plus, what was he gonna do? Say no? I would write him up. <laughs> I, I can't. I don't have the power to do that. <laughs> I can't write people up. Oh, but I wish I could. Where the heck is Tingle? I thought it was over here somewhere. Really? I wish I could write people up. There's the, uh... <laughs> the Zoomers have been at it lately. <laughs> My boss has been away on vacation for the past, like, week. And it kind of shows. Because the office isn't... The office is chaotic lately. <laughs> In a mostly fun way, but when I'm actually busy... When I'm busy, I get very grumpy. is like the latest TikTok trend or something or the latest Instagram star or something I'm like I could go my whole life without knowing this and I'd be happy I don't want to know what I don't want to know about this stuff <laughs> Sometimes it's funny. Why is it not making a sound? Why is it not making a noise? You know what, while we're here, why not, right? When in Rome? Good evening. Cash on delivery, 10 rupees. Well, what do we got? Notice to silver membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shopship. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one complimentary ID. It is valid at all Beetle Shopships, so bring it to a shopship near you. A Merchant's Oath! Who knows what this is? <clears throat> Increase your fortune! You know what's actually kind of cool? lore wise the blue chew jellies only show up at fairy islands and tingle he like wants to doesn't he like want to be a fairy isn't that his thing because he believe he is when i spread misinformation is it not true <laughs> well, hold on. Correct me, then. These guys are named, like, Zoro and Zuko or something. 
You show up on a lot of non-fairy islands. Is that true? Whoops. Well, never mind then. Tingle doesn't have a voice, if you recall. I didn't. I I took a bold stand and said I'm not doing a voice for Tingle. <laughs> Knuckle. David Jr. Yes. I thought it was 397. Is 397 like an, uh... How many Pokemon in Gen 3? Is that what I'm thinking of? What's 397? Three eighty six. That's right, because Emerald three eighty six. What's three ninety seven? Maybe I'm just thinking of this, and I was one off. <laughs> whoa! Yo, Alan. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Yo, JD. <laughs> hey, thank you both for the big raids. That's awesome. I've never gotten a double raid. Double raid bow. Hey, I hope stream was awesome. Were you guys playing four swords? Right? Ah, good coordinated plan. Hey, thank you both so much and welcome on in everybody. Oh, controller Steiner. Uh, we can do one more. Do we even have one more, though? We don't. Well, from one Zelda to another. Go to rock spot. Oh no, we already did that one. New mother and child. We did. Do spectacle. I think we even have it. There it is. Yes, we did. <laughs> Uh, in that case, I think I'm just gonna get out of here and do something. Let's go get a chart. Oh, hold on. And four, four ninety-seven. Probably wasn't that though. I think I was just misremembering the number, and I'm trying to. Justify it somehow. <clears throat> Controller. Hey, I'm using my last personal day of the year. Tomorrow. They're due in by July 1st. So I cut it mighty close. Uh, but I get to take a day off. So I'll be off tomorrow, and that has me happy. I usually have a Wednesday off. That's two weeks in a row. And then next week we have the fourth off. And then the week after that, I have, is it the week after that? I have Friday off, I believe. I think it's that week. 
You too, sis? Yeah. Yeah, it's only Wednesday. It does feel like a long week somehow. It's one of those weird, like... It's one of those weird, like, uh... Oh, the Octo chart. That's cool. I was just thinking about this. One of those weeks where it makes no sense. It's like a paradox. Where I feel like it's flying by, and then I also think about what day it is, and I'm like... Man, it's been a long week. <laughs> Does this mean the number of eyes it has? Oh, it does tell me which ones I've done. All right, so wh where's this platform chart? This thing is useless. This is the useless one, because this does not tell me I, which ones I've completed. God, there's so many, actually. Gross. Uh, let's go do an Octo, I guess. Go do an Octo expansion. Fire Mountain and Seven Star. Okay. Sometimes I do that. This will put us in pretty good shape for next time. Next time we'll knock out most of the uh, Triforce charts, I think. Because I'm so indecisive today. <clears throat> it's funny how, like, some of them are really cool, and some of them are so nothing. It's an interesting, an interesting blend of approaches. <laughs> Some of the charts have entire areas designed for them, or entire side quests. And then another one is just go shoot down this boat. Oh, and? And for us? And a treasure? This was so worth. Was it fun shooting down the boat? Yes. What did HD do again? Did it remove the charts? Did it make them just finding the shards? character it does definitely do that <laughs> what did I spend all the money on again oh the rock spire island stuff okay you guys see some seagulls I see one out there better than none in every other direction. No, we're about to leave the block. No, we're not. We're about to leave that C chart. Never mind. Yeah, the sale is huge. 
There's a seagull out here, but I don't think that's the seagull. We're looking for a flock of seagulls. What, did you see them? No? Seagulls at there they are. And yep, I'm gonna do it like this. Except I need a wind that goes north, so a wind that goes up. They over here? Where'd they go? I lost them. Oh, <laughs> where'd they go? I just assumed I was facing them. There they are. Oh, it is not north, I'll tell you that. Did Sis say earlier, can you go west to go east? No, you can't. The world is not round, and if it is, uh, Red is trying to hide that from you. Whatever his endgame may be. Look at the sharp shooting. Oh! Whoa! Oh, come back, Boomerang. Come back! Is there a reason we haven't got the other bomb bag upgrade? I just don't remember where it is. <laughs> I thought it was a big octo.
Hold on. <laughs> you thought you could sneak that one by me, huh? It's a dark and stormy night. Unsled, unsnuck. Would be awful powers. Unsnuck might have its uses. What would unsled do? <laughs> <laughs> Conveniently meeting unsled in the winter arc. Contrived writing. Oh, you're telling me Unsled just happened to be there when the snowy arc happened? Making up a guy to be mad at. <laughs> oh, one piece for us. In what way? Oh no, the bad guy's getting away on his big sled for him. <laughs> and then Unsled. <laughs> unsled, who I now imagine looking like the guy who fucks. That's what I imagine him looking like. Now. Unsled going, nah, I got this. And it's a raw panel of him just like putting his hand on whoever's back. <laughs> On like, on like Foucault's back, on on Foucault's yeah. shoulder, and going, "Nah, I got this." Yeah. <laughs> Unslid. And unsnuck is like, I can't help but feel a little shafted on this one. Unsled is so much cooler. Why is Fuku in this one? It's supposed to be our show. Aunt Snuck will get their time, yeah, 100 chapters in. Unsnuck on fraud watch. <laughs> Uma quiet? <laughs> the most convenient writing ever. <laughs> unsled on snuck sucks. <laughs> I'm so glad we got undead on luck. <laughs> they fight Uma quiet. Come on. Uh, the jump announcement like <laughs> a new arc coming for unsled unsnuck enter the quiet arc <laughs> and everybody's like oh yeah I wonder who's gonna be in that one dangerous to go any further in this direction. We must turn back. We'll fall over the edge, Freeman. 
Red, you know the world's round, right? We'll fall over the edge. It's too dangerous for you. Oh, oh that one was me. <laughs> My controller did that one. And it's doing it again. What if Unsled expanded his, like, interpretation of what Unsled meant? How would you even do so, really? Do you think you could stop cars? Do you think you could do that? vehicles. Where's this Octo? Do with this island? What do we even do here? Hold on, where are we? What do we do with seven star again? I don't even know if we did what we were meant to do here. <clears throat> These big octos are throwing me for a loop though. What if Unsled took down a master rule? Would that be a uh, shark jump? Who is it? Motion? <laughs> no, the master rule. Sled. <laughs> Cooked series. Unsled, unsnuck, awful. Washed. <laughs> green, green, greens died for this. Not even in the square anymore. Where's this big octo? The square hole. Slide on Snuck. Secretly a series about exorcists. <laughs> Revealed in the third act. That's actually a big square. This octo could be anywhere. Have you seen it, Raven? No? Okay, thanks. I have to pay him $500 for that single line route. Where's this Octo at? Where's my Octo at? I think I see it. I see two seagulls, I see four, five. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This is the crazy one. 
More targets makes you weaker, guy. That was pretty cracked. Did you see that sharpshooting? I missed one of those shots. I mean, those were meant to be misses, honestly. I didn't think the first couple would hit. This one doesn't tell you that you've done them. I thought the red down there, the one that we did, meant like I got it. I think that just means it's the one that the fairy had, that has the fairy. In that case, take a quick, take a quick, take a quick, take a quick, take a quick. You can take a quick. I'm gonna take a quick. Take a quick. Take a quick. There we go. I took a little screenshot, a quick screenshot for us and crossed them out. We did three of them. <laughs> do a little touchdown dance. Do do a little touchdown dance. Poppy please. <laughs> do a little touchdown dance. <laughs> Oh, is this here? No. No. <sighs> what is that in again? Apple pie? Um, do a little touchdown dance? Isn't that in Mr. B? It starts with that, and then... And then does it become Booty Hall? <laughs> it starts as Touchdown Dance. <laughs> Overlook Island? What, are we gonna find Tracer there or something? <laughs> Last thing of the day. What the heck? It's pushing us forward. What is Seven Star Isles? What do you even do there?
What? And a treasure trap for us? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Quick, quick. Oh, good. What if Dio wasn't one of these? Secret cave chart? Now, now I know these are cope. If there's a chart of them, how the heck are they secret? Oh, there's nothing secret about these guys. <laughs> Two? <laughs> That's wild. Secret caves, all right. I guess the public cave chart didn't roll off the tongue as well. Didn't didn't <laughs> didn't sell too well in stores. There's one here though. That's why I'm confused. This is a fairy island. Confirms. What was the lore gonna be? Okay. We can hear my made up fan fiction lore. Um, the fact that a blue chew was at Tingle's Island mean, means that he is a fairy. He succeeded. That's my made up lore. That wasn't even rooted in reality, apparently. Man. Yeah, I think that guy down there agrees. Watch this, watch this. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. What? <laughs> oh my god, the explosion is there. Now what happens if I do this? <laughs> this is how I play games. Sometimes I do silly things. I like to find new weird ways to do things. Even if it's impractical and doesn't even look cool. If this were a better game... Oh. I'd be able to pick these up and put them in my bag.
It adds such a like. <laughs> it's so passive aggressive. Yeah, armchair dev. <laughs> and usually I find myself saying it jokingly about a game I do like and love. <laughs> but sometimes I say it about games that I do hate. Or dislike. Or have beef with. to a system. Yeah. I want you to know I just threw up an hour yes to that. I don't, know. I don't even know who it was for. Bring it on. I think that would like ruin the hook shot. <laughs> Such little damage. I can't believe I spawned it there. No, other guy. No, not the bat. How did I get iron boots on me? Oh, these guys. <laughs> There were three? That was my stand rush. <laughs> <laughs> that 
house, Raymond letting out his rage. is in this room. Who are they fooling? these days <laughs> it's impossible to win that trade <laughs> but one of these days we got one I saw it I should not be fighting for these guys did you know you have a shield in this game behind you though. And now there's an opening. A team is only as strong as its weakest member. See? Aha. Uh -huh. Call him the self sustainment Raymond. Yep, I got all my health back. Ooh, money. Oh. I forgot what we were doing this for. Yep, and they make you play the Wind's Requiem for these charts. Do you know why, sis? Isaac, do you know why they make you play the Wind's Requiem to get the Triforce charts? No? 
Uh, it's because they wanted to make it seem more important than it is. <laughs> Because really, why? <laughs> it's not like it's Zelda's lullaby or something. Hey, we already got so much money back. I'm just running around, you know? This is all essential. It's all part of the plan. God's plan, except it's me. what we're going to do next time. Um, we could do... So we're going to definitely do... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to get the rest of the charts, I think. Well, how many are left? We have three. And there are... Five more to get. Why is this island cracked? Who decided that you get to be cracked, Stone Watcher Island? I have to check Discord before I end stream? Okay. I'm opening Discord. If you hear any sounds, it's from my Discord, but it could also be from your Discord. But it might be from mine. Sled on snack. <laughs> Isaac, good cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up. Give me a sec. <laughs> this is crazy. What a fast turnaround. Unsled unsnuck for you. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> A nice, <laughs> nice big sled that he's gripping. <laughs> Was that a sword originally? The first few chapters are also problematic. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Hey. Great session, though. <laughs> Unsled Unsnuck was pretty funny. <laughs> I might highlight that. <laughs> it was just a rant about nothing, but it was pretty funny. Um, that's it though. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for chilling. Oh, we went a little late. My bad. Um, yeah, next week we'll get the charts and we'll, uh, my part two, <laughs> possibly. And yeah, I'll be back on Friday for a little persona. Not the finale yet? Oh no, we got a couple more streams. 
We got a few. We're at the part of the game that everybody hates now, which is when you go around the world and collect treasure. Oh yeah, it'll be a little bit of a long one on Friday. Uh, I don't know how long. I always feel bad when I go all the way because I'm like, that was silly. <laughs> but it happens sometimes. If we end up in Tartarus, it'll probably go all night. But hopefully we don't. We've had enough of that place for a little bit. Anyway, I'm, I'm dilly-dallying. I'm dilly-dallying, shilly-shallying, so... Let's, uh, let's call it. All right. I didn't forget. Post the emotes. Oh yeah, you have the Resay badge. Congrats. What did you have before that? I don't remember what order I put them all in. Was it the Akihiko? Oh, that sounds right. Hey, take care. Have a wonderful evening. A wonderful rest of your week.